Hey again guys and welcome back. I'm just here with another quick tip, a tool you could print if you're into electronics. Um, this here is a soldering wire finger from user Mr. Tech over on Thingiverse, link in the description, who also credits uh, iDig3D for having a similar design as him, which inspired this one. But I like this one personally. So what it is, is just a series of sort of these uh, triangular holes and you would uh, jam your wires in here and you can jam up two wires so that they butt up so you can do sort of like a butt join or you can twist the wires together and put them in here just so you can solder. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do a little bit of a demonstration here and uh, then I'll probably bring you down lower so you can see at a different angle. So first things first, um, usually you want to get some good mechanical strength on your solder joints. So I like to twist my wires together. I didn't actually strip a lot of the insulation here, but your overall goal is to have the final dimension of your solder joint to be about the thickness of the wire plus the insulation. I'm just doing a terrible job. This, by the way, is a wire out of a old computer power supply and a cheap one at that. So these wires are hard. I, I would actually venture to say that these are probably uh, aluminum wires because they're not quite cooperating the way you think a high quality stranded wire would There we go. It's going to be a bit ugly, but it is going to work. And then you just press that down in there. Clean the tip of your iron off. And then I typically um, put a little bit of solder on the tip just to help the heat transfer. And then you will press this up on the wire. And your goal now is to use the heat of the iron to heat the wire and the wire should melt the solder. I guess it would actually be best if I could uh, tape it down but thankfully it's got a nice big valley in there. And here goes. Oh boy. Not a lot of thermal mass in this iron. So that might that might be even a little too much solder on there. Oh yeah, definitely too much solder. But there we go. It is a solder joint. And the same deal now, except I'm reaching around the camera to do this. Um I'll actually have no way of knowing if this is in focus because I can't see um, the wire and the camera from the same vantage point. So give this a quick twist like so. Jam this down into the fingers. I also taped it to the bench this time. And here it goes. Clean the tip. Got to be very careful not to um, not to touch the 3D printed part, though. Okay, and again, this tip is not ideal for this job. I definitely need something with higher thermal mass. This is an 18 gauge wire. We're at 350C. Might be a bit cold with this light tip. There we go. Gonna feed the solder in. Don't want to get too much in there, but you know, there we go. That is a solder joint.
bit too much solder. Uh, typically I would have a bigger tip and go, you know, kind of sweep it around, but that still does the job. So yeah, if you want to print one of these for yourself, uh, check out the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.